Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you didn't know, my name's Smitty, and I'm hoping that you like the content I'm putting out there for you. Uh, right now we're in a in a series, a 4L60E build, and last video yesterday we got the bottom half of the case assembled. Today it's top for, time for the top half of the case and getting all that going. Uh, so if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe, hit that uh, notification bell um, so you're notified when the, the latest videos come out. Smash that like button and uh, share it with your friends, comment, do all that good jazz. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I love doing transmissions, it's just, it's what I've done for a while, so uh, it's kind of been a career, and uh, I've done quite a few of them, to say the least. But anyway, we're going to get back into this 4L60E build, and uh, let's get going at it. Alright, okay, I want to show you the Ford Sprag first. You need to check this before you put it in to make sure if you've had it apart. This thing should rotate counterclockwise only. Hold the outer outer big shell like that, turn your sun gear. Should only turn counterclockwise. If it turns the other way, which this one doesn't, then you've either got a broken sprag or you've installed it upside down. Here's something else I want to show you. I'm pretty sure I, I showed you this on the uh, on the teardown video but just to, as a refresher you want to make sure that this is a, this is get a 29 element sprag in it and element means is those fingers that are in there and see how that's got a double cage on it that's the one you want if you get one with a single cage, you got one that's plastic, throw it in the trash and get you one of these. Uh, because these are a known failure on the 700 and a 4L60. Alright, that's all I'm going to show you on that. Snap ring back in there. Not even in summer yet. But it is a beautiful floor today. Alright, now onto the onto the input housing. You gotta take this thing apart to be able to put the Ford Sprag in. It just won't go in there because this this Ford plate here it actually goes over the top of the, the Sprag and that's kind of what holds it in. So pop your snap ring out. Just blew a glove out. Pull your three, four clutches out. Pull your little return springs. Pull your bottom plate out and then pull your spring out of your forward clutch your snap ring I said spring well it is kind of like a spring
pull your top plate out. Now I'm going to tell you in the past, it makes it a lot easier to just take your whole Ford clutch back out. Okay, there is a bearing that goes down in there. That's this dude right here. And it's got little tangs on the side. Tangs go down in the housing, so it just sits on top of there. Give your, uh, your seal in there a little lube. Get your forward sprag and turn it till you get it lined up with the overrun clutches. Then put your forward back in. Okay, now we got the input housing put back together. We'll spin this dude around here. We'll go back in the case. Now there's already a bearing down in the bottom of that one, so you don't have to put anything in there. And it's ready to go, so same thing as applies before. Take and lube up your bushings on your input housing in here and then. now this will take some effort you have to kind of turn it and walk it down at the same time when you get it all the way down you'll hear a distinctive thud Just like that, you hear it? You pick up on a little bit and you know you've got it all the way down in there. All right, next is, there is a, you've got a selective washer, which they're all numbered. This one's a 68. That's the most common one. That goes in first. Then you've got this bearing that's kind of, it's got a thinner inside piece versus the outside. So this thinner piece goes up, just like that. And then, you're at your reverse input housing, which is this dude right here. Now the only reason why I'm going to put this together for now is because it's got, it's been assembled. But I will show you when we get the pump how to air check everything. Um, should have a pump here by next visit. Tomorrow maybe. So, same thing applies. i put you some lube in the inside of there. And then this will go over the top of that. And that's the same thing. Wiggle it. Can't turn it. Okay, that all went all the way down. You know if this is right, if it if it's just slightly below 
this surface right here. If it's slightly below it, then that means it's seated all the way. And so you're good there. So the only thing, other thing we got left is the band. But again, the only reason why I'm not doing that now is because the uh, I'm gonna have to take it off, take it back out because I wanna show you how to air check it on the bench. It's pretty easy to do, but you can test it through the pump and everything to make sure everything works like it's supposed to and everything's sealed up. So that's gonna be it for that. The last thing I'll put in, of course, is the band along with the uh, the pump assembly. So we're going to head it off there today. This is a shorter one. We're going to end it off there today. So uh, if you like what you've seen, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, mainly subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get the latest updates and uh, share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, until next time, tomorrow, uh, y'all take care of each other, take care of yourself, God bless you, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.